Hello, I am Dr. Palma Shaw, and this is the Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about pregnancy and vascular surgery training. The field of endovascular surgery has changed training of vascular fellows completely. Exposure to radiation during procedures occurs frequently, and introduction of young trainees to the common facts of ionizing radiation is important in limiting unnecessary exposure. An effort to recruit more talented women to vascular surgery has been made, and now with that come concerns regarding pregnancy during a two or even five year training period. Education regarding the best mechanisms to limit exposure, combined with awareness of the most radiosensitive periods of the pregnancy, can allow women to successfully complete training without compromising their training or becoming a burden on their fellow trainees. Once a trainee is aware of the pregnancy or if a pregnancy is being planned, a declaration of pregnancy should be made to their institution in writing, and an additional badge can be administered for placement under the lead secured to the lower abdomen called the fetal badge. This will estimate the dose received by the fetus. The principle of as low as reasonably achievable applies, and institutions will expect appropriate measures to be taken to diminish fetal exposure. Exposure to radiation can be limited by careful case planning, avoidance of magnification, addition of collimation, use of a lead shield, and by standing at least six feet away from the image intensifier. Use of ultrasound to facilitate vessel access can limit exposure as well. A state requirement of 0.25 millimeter lead thickness is common, although individual institutions may set their own preferences and use 0.5 millimeters as this blocks more than 90% of the beam. Use of pregnancy lead is common and should be provided to trainees. Other female operators have used double lead throughout the pregnancy, although this has not been recommended and its validity is unproven. Information regarding the effects of ionizing radiation on the fetus is derived from animal studies. Human exposures to diagnostic and therapeutic radiation and data extracted from human exposure to atomic bomb radiation in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, and fallout from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant explosion in 1986. Risks of ionizing radiation during pregnancy are related to the stage of pregnancy and adsorbed dose. This is more significant during organogenesis and in the early fetal period, somewhat less in the second trimester and least in the third trimester. There are different effects at each time frame, such as growth retardation, malignancies, and neurological effects, such as small head size, severe mental retardation, intellectual deficit, and seizures. However, in most cases, pregnant operators may safely perform procedures without risk of fetal injury or death. Malformations only occur above a threshold dose of 100 to 200 milligray during a pregnancy. Ultimately, careful planning and understanding of the risks and minimization of radiation dose can address many concerns for the pregnant operator. Education should be readily available to every woman of childbearing potential. The establishment of guidelines for pregnant trainees will further clarify the precautions necessary to protect the mother and fetus, as well as alleviate anxiety regarding safety and expectations of the pregnant operator during training. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.